Greetings from Bishop Fenwick. Welcome back to the blog, a very special edition of the blog in honor of Thanksgiving. An edition of the blog that goes out to everybody in our Fenwick family, especially the six decades of alums who are part of the proud Fenwick legacy. So Bishop Benedict Joseph Fenwick founded Fenwick 60 years ago this fall. And I recall as we approached Thanksgiving, another Jesuit mentor, someone who was the greatest spiritual advisor I'll ever have, Father Joe McCormick, who when I was studying to be a Jesuit, often reminded us, remember, be grateful, and be glad. That was his mantra. Remember, be grateful, and be glad. And that's my Thanksgiving message to you. First, remember. Remember that we're the lucky ones. Remember how we've been graced and touched by the love of God. Remember how many people, teachers, coaches, mentors, role models, have shaped us into who we are, especially the Fenwick alums. My gosh, what a proud tradition that you've inherited. And for our current students, think back to the invitation I gave to you on Thoughts for Thursday. Recall that person who needs your presence this Thanksgiving, who really deserves your prayer as we go into the holiday. Spend time with that person. Be present to that person. And let's remember we're the lucky ones as I'm surrounded here by all the donations for our Thanksgiving food drive given to us by Fenwick students, faculty, and staff. These are the people who really need our prayer. We're the blessed ones. So remember, keep things in perspective. Two, be grateful, be grateful. How many times in my life am I too greedy for what I don't have and less grateful for what I do have? How many times am I anxious about the people or the things that aren't in my life and not appreciative of the things and most especially the people who are in my life? I know I need to be grateful and I need to be appreciative. And as we move into Thanksgiving, let's be grateful and let's be appreciative. Let's honor those in our midst who have made a difference. Remember, be grateful, and finally, be glad. Being glad is a choice, just like love. We can choose to be happy, we can decide to be grateful. Let's adopt that attitude of positivity as we approach Thanksgiving. Really, we have so much for which to be thankful. Let's choose to be happy, let's choose to be happy. Finally, there is much to be grateful for here at Fenway. I think about the generosity of our students. I think about the football team competing in the Super Bowl. I think about the three one-act plays that just debuted this weekend. I think about all that lies ahead for the holiday season as we celebrate Spirit Week. You hear the noise in the background of so many students and faculty excited to celebrate this Thanksgiving holiday. So as you go into Thanksgiving, remember, be grateful, and be glad. Have a great Thanksgiving, and God bless. Take care.